Ben. Uh, I'm, I'm offended by the language of uprising applied to people who are breaking into other black people's stores and looting them. Uh, this is not. This is a lack of values. And people who people who are destroying private property, destroying cop cars, in an uprising against what exactly? Against the black police chief, against a mostly minority police force, against the black mayor, against the black president, against the black attorney general, against the entirely uh, against a, a city council that that is nine of fifteen are black and all fifteen are elected Democrats. Uh, what is the uprising against? What is it seeking to achieve? I still don't see what exactly the the, the riots are seeking to achieve. Bottom line is, uh, this is all. It, it all could be boiled down to just act like a mensch. Act like a human being. Honestly, it's not a useful, it's not useful to riot, it's not useful to break things, it's not useful to throw rocks at people. And the idea that we're supposed to sort of correlate let's, let's your level of on outrage. The idea. I'm gonna stick to the 30 seconds on yeah, this. Yeah, the last, sentence, the, the last okay. sentence. Yeah. The, the idea that we're supposed to correlate your level of outrage with a certain level of justification. In other words, the more outraged you are and the more angry you are, the more justified you must be is absolute nonsense. How can you argue that racism is not a driving factor in income inequality? Because it has nothing to do with race and everything to do with culture. And when you have a culture that doesn't... And when... And when it, you know what? Explain to me. You explain to me why black kids aren't graduating high school. You explain that one to me. Explain to me why black kids are shooting each other in rates significantly higher than whites are shooting each other. Explain to me why 13% of the population is responsible for 50% of the murder. Explain to me why the, why the number of blacks and black kids in prison, not for innocent reasons, not for walking down the street and getting pulled into a prison, is so high. Explain, if it has nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time that the civil rights movement has made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened. Anybody well, can jump in. It's, uh, it's an open mic there. But there has to be racism. You can't, be, you can't say there's no racism. Without I mean, evidence? I mean, no, 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 no. I'm just saying that uh, I don't know which animal. Uh, maybe you, you, maybe, maybe we're talking about, about dogs racist. or something. I'm, I'm talking about human beings. And I'm like, m human beings are most likely going to have racial prejudices. I'm just so sorry. I, I, I'm just so sorry. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't come from a... I don't come, yeah, I, I, come, no, I, come actually, from, I come from planet Charles, Earth. Charles, I just, I want to ask you a question. So your default, your default is that when there is no evidence, racism is the deciding factor. That is no, 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 I was not saying that. I'm just saying that, uh, that you're going to have sexist, you're going to have racist, you're going to have all this stuff. I mean, I'm just saying that... I agree it exists, but the problem that I'm seeing, and, and this is the problem with the general conversation, is that there's no solution in simply saying there's racism out there. How does that solve anything? I mean, when, when you talk about there's institutional racism, what does that mean? Show me a law that is racist in intent, and we will agree. Show me a police officer who commits a racist act, like we saw in South Carolina, right, where a police officer shot a black man running away, and it was obviously unjustified, and I will agree. But you need, uh, the, the, the idea that you can craft a narrative based on no racism because it just must be somewhere out there in the ether, that doesn't solve problems for anybody and creates more problems for people because now they grow up in a, in a milieu and an environment where they are told that every obstacle they face is from some shadowy, nameless, faceless group who is out to get them simply because of the color of their skin. They'll never succeed in that environment. Um. On, on the Black Lives Matter idea, I'm, I'm, I want to find the people, I, I want to find the people alongside you who think black lives don't matter. I, I'm still looking for those people, really. I mean, like the, the, the implication is, of course, that for a bunch of people out there, for some reason, they're, they're fine with black people getting shot in the street for no reason. Hands up, don't shoot was based on a lie. That's problematic. The idea that there is a, a, a huge number of black young men who are being shot for no reason by police officers is not statistically true. It's just not statistically true. The fact is that according to statistical studies at John Jay College, if you're a white man in a similar confrontation with police, you have a better chance of being shot by police than if you're a young black man. More white men are shot by the police every year in the country than young black men are shot by police in the country. The idea that, that there is a spate, and, and, I can, and there's an easy proof, we know all of their names. We know all of their names. When there's a broad, there are 30 million black men in America Okay, when we know all of, President Obama said that we have a spate, it's a slow rolling crisis. Once every couple of weeks, we have a case that's under dispute. So let's take his statistic. Okay, so let's, let's say it's 26. Not one is too many, and we all agree. But is it, is it really a, a slow rolling crisis with a broad trend across the nation when there are 30 million black people in the entire country? 
and 26 people are shot under disputed circumstances, and probably at least half of those, the cop is at least justified. In Michael Brown, he was justified. Okay, and, and let so me, basically, let me what I'm saying is that you can't base a narrative on lies. We're running out of time.